And of course, the question of questions, which is with Vishal. I have no idea where Prithvi is. He's not in the 11. He's sitting there in the dugout. He's sitting there in the dugout. Yeah. So I don't know whether he's not hitting the ball well in practice because he batted decently for Mumbai yeah. in long form cricket. So I don't know whether he's not hitting the ball well or whether, and I hope that's not the case, whether they think Marsh has to open the batting and so they're sacrificing Shaw. I don't think that will happen. Nobody will think like that. Yeah. Because Marsh can be perfectly good at number three as well. Yeah. But I won't be surprised. Either they look at Yash Dhul or they look at Shaw for. Uh, for Bhui, I mean, even the way he got out today, he was done by pace. And bounce both. Yeah, he was done really, by pace. I mean... Uh, this level, you can't be... Uh, yeah. so he, he'll have, obviously, have, maybe it surprises him, maybe the extra pace surprised him. Let's yeah. let's be in his camp for a while, yeah. maybe it surprised him. Yeah. But they'll have to get uh, uh, Prithvi back. Who was so out of the... We had the battle of the spinners today. There was uh, Chehel and Ashwin on one side. There was Kuldeep and Akshar on the other side. Who do you think? Who do you think won? I mean, they both did well. Both so that's pairs did po- well. So that's my point. That they drew. They actually fought out a draw, in my opinion. But the rest of the India batting from their side, from Rajasthan side, and the India bowling from Rajasthan side just overwhelmed them. Okay. So I think the bowlers, it very little to choose between them, and and they're all such high quality players. <laughs> yeah. So much, so little to choose. Yeah. And I thought, you know, it, the only difference that I feel is the way you can use Chehel and Ashwin is you can throw them a ball in the 17th, 18th over as well. I don't think it's that easy to give Kuldeep that low, especially if the batsman is set. Mm. And there's another factor that's that's affecting Delhi that could affect Sunrisers to some extent. You look at all the teams that have won the IPL over the years. Mumbai Indians, Kolkata Knight Riders, one year Sunrisers and Chennai Super Kings. They all have one thing in common, which is a very strong Indian core. Yep, you need it. And yep. then you play around with your overseas players. You can't have a strong overseas player core, which Punjab does every year, which uh, Sunrisers have this year. A very strong overseas core, because that is only four. Correct. So, one of the issues Delhi are going to have this year is their Indian core is not uh, is, is not. Yeah, strong and a enough. balanced India core, right? I mean, good, good players everywhere, but the the correct choices for the correct positions, which is what some of these winning teams are, are, are showing. And the champion teams to show you options. There's options of Indian players in all positions uh, that they carry. Okay, well... But the fans uh, need to know. The Delhi fans, yeah. I suspect there is a Delhi Capitals fan amongst us just now as well, amongst the three of us. But they deserve to know why Shaw is not playing. So one of the things you tell your fans is, yeah. you know, fans. So retained player. Yeah, this so is a lineup we played. So tomorrow Arsenal is playing a lineup. Liverpool is playing a lineup. Yeah. The fans must know why X I is not playing. Agree. Saka is not playing today. Okay, why Saka not playing today? Yeah. Similarly, why Shaw not playing? I'm a fan. Yeah. I'm supporting you. I want to know why Shaw is not playing. But you know, here's the thing: if it's not a niggle, then there's obviously, yeah. you know, there's there's it's it's whispered. There are lots of rumors that there's some. You know, an attitude alignment that doesn't work with the well, team or some the, such. You know, the press always, conference after every match. If the, normally yeah. the question is not being asked, I'm, I'll be. Uh, Look, he's been with you, You've been with teams. I don't know how you handle a situation like that. I just think if someone's got an attitude problem, if it is that, and we cannot say that, then you just say sorry. We're, we're picking him for this reason, so that yeah. the message goes around to everybody else. I don't know what it does to him, Joy. You've you've handled team dynamics, but if I was there, I'd just say, look, he, he needs to get his act together. But as I said, I hope that's not the case.